The date was horrible. But I wish you the best of luck in everything that you do. And he went ham. Y'all, he went ham on me. I've never had someone go this buck wild on me. This guy didn't even know me like a week before he decided to do that. So I want to read you guys what I wrote to him. Okay, this is exactly what I said. I don't see us building a friendship after what has occurred. I'm not interested. I don't like wasting time, others or my own. Wish you the best in all that you do. So he was like, yeah, I can dig it. Once you're used to the bad, that's what you know. So I got you. Once you're used to the bad, listen, this is not a letter from the battered women community. When we were out on an outing together, you, you, my friend, said some fucked up shit that I did not like, okay? And that has nothing to do with my past nor my future, okay? You said something that I did, did not like. So don't try to put this on me like, oh, you know, she was abused. She was with a man who la 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 la. That ain't got shit to do with me not liking what you said, homie. So anyway, I said back to him, once you've seen ignorance, disregard, and lack of understanding, you learn to keep that out of your life. You had too many red flags too early, and I chose not to allow that to enter my life. Not only did you have several red flags, but when I identified them as issues, you chose to ignore them, which is fine. Do you, again. I wish you the best, okay? I feel like I'm being nice at this point, but he can he proceeds to continue to go on. So this fool says, yeah, you're the perfect person. That's why you get all the good men that loves you. I'm already blessed and have the best, so no need for wishes, but thanks. I'm sure you will give your ex another chance or give someone worse a chance because obviously you're horrible or have poor judgment and selection of picking. And as beautiful as you are, shake my head. Y'all, when I read that, I laughed to myself. It was a very loud laugh, but it was to myself. And I sat there like, this guy has some really big issues because you don't even know me. And you're tripping because I'm not interested after one date. But I'm horrible though. That's fine. I'll take that. So I said this to him because I'm a nice individual. This is not an attack on you. You should relax and take a moment to read and understand what I'm saying. I'm obviously not a perfect person and that's very clear, but that's not what we're talking about either. I know what I want in my life and I know what I don't want in my life. That comes from being with the wrong people. While spending time with you, I saw things that I don't like and won't accept, period. That's my personal choice, and you should respect that. And the fact that you think it's okay to say those negative things is another red flag. No one likes rejection. It doesn't feel good, I understand. But I'm not interested anymore, and that has nothing to do with my ex. It has everything to do with you and the comments you made to me. So after I've said that, he said rejection, question mark, this is your rejection? I'm doing this hand because this is how ignorant this is to me. Hell, I would have made you a better woman. Your prayer should be to meet a good man like me. I've always had great women. That's nothing for me. I was trying to change the course of your life, but you're stuck and only you're perfect. And I said, what's your issue? Like I literally could have been like other girls and hopped on the train Continue to let this guy pay for meals, pay for, you know, for things to, for us to do. Why no one in the back of my head? He'll never have a fucking chance. I mean, I could do that. I could ride that wave. But that's just not, not what kind of person I am. You know, I'm being honest with you because I believe that I'm, if I don't want my time wasted, and I'm not going to waste your time, if, if somebody's not feeling you and they tell you that, you should thank them. Thank you, because now I can move on and find someone who is interested in me. I gave you that, and I didn't even, and I mean, I'm not saying I'm the end all have all, but I'm saying I respected myself and you enough to be like, listen, this is not, I'm not with it. You know, I'm just, you know, but he didn't want to respect that. 
So he said, listen, I've been done talking. I'm said, I said, this is, this is making you look really bad and sound so bad. You're not God's gift to me. I'm like, what is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? He said, I don't want to look good. I am good. But the way you're, it will be a miracle if you experience God's gift, no shade. Really, I thought very highly of you. Enjoy life. I I said, Take care. So then he says again, I don't think it's your fault. I truly think you had some bad experiences. How does my past have anything to do with you? How? Because I don't want to deal with your ignorance. My past actually was a great, great thing because now I can find out just when people are shitty and stop fucking with them. Thank you, past. Thank you. Thank you, experiences. Thank you. What an idiot. Yeah, after I said take care, I was done, y'all. How he acted said a lot about how he would have treated me if I were to allow him to pursue a relationship with me. And if that's the way you're gonna introduce me to your life, I'm not gonna stay. I'm not gonna stay because that's bullshit. But after that, he continued to ask me, um, can we go out together? Hey, I guess you're busy. Hey, you wanna go get breakfast? Hey, beautiful, how you doing? Hey, you wanna hang today? Uh, you're crazy. You need to get it together, man. Put your comments down below. I love to talk to you guys about stuff you guys may have went through or what you guys think about the crazy guy that I just dealt with. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.